Greetings from Costa Rica. Culture shock is something that a lot of people go through but probably don't understand. Today I'm going to give a quick overview of culture shock to try and help my clients and anyone thinking of moving to Costa Rica in the little way that I can. I'm going to go over a simple definition of culture shock and explain what I'm talking about. Next, I'm going to explain how it manifests itself and how you'll notice you're going through it. And finally, I'll talk about coping with culture shock. Greetings from Costa Rica. My name is Matt Rosenstiel. Today I'm giving a quick overview of culture shock to try and help my clients and anyone considering moving here. If you like straightforward information about Costa Rica or moving to a foreign country, do be sure to click subscribe. I would feel eternally grateful to you. First of all, I'm going to talk about the general concept of culture shock. And specifically, I want to tell people what it isn't. Culture shock is not that sense of awe and wonder or that crazy feeling you get when you step off the plane in a new country. Culture shock is a feeling of disorientation, of being out of place, that people go through, usually in its worst phases, about three months after they've moved somewhere. So if you're in line at the bank a week after you've gotten here and you feel like you're frustrated that you can't get there faster, that's not culture shock. What I'm here to talk about is a process that people who move to different countries go through. As a Peace Corps volunteer, they talked about it endlessly in training to try and help us adapt. Let's be clear, when you move to a foreign place, you're very likely to have a honeymoon phase at first, during which you feel everything is absolutely brilliant, and you feel entirely justified that you picked the absolute right place to live. That can last for about three, three months. Again, it's called the honeymoon period for a reason, and really, it's a good reason you should not buy property before you've been here for three months. Because as your mood progresses along the culture shock uh, process, let's say, after about three months, it's very typical for people to move into a phase that is much more frustrating and very much where you go from honeymoon and everything is great to I hate this place, frustration, and very much you feel like you're butting heads with everything. You'll meet a lot of people who have moved down here and are in that three to eight months to one year period, and they're the first ones who love to tell the negative anecdotes about what's going on in their daily lives. You'll see them out in the supermarket, how you been? And immediately it's, well, Costa Rica this and that and the guy, and you know, you can absolutely tell that whereas Right off the plane, somebody is just beaming with happiness at how great things are. About four or five months in, they may be incessantly complaining about what frustrates them. At that point, you're in the midst of the worst phase of culture shock, which is almost 100% necessary to eventually fully adapt to life in a different country. This phase, you will feel frustrated, disoriented. You can even have physical symptoms, insomnia, uh, you'll meet people who really, their sleep patterns change a lot, or uh, they even get problems with their stomach, uh, different things happening in the bathroom, not to elaborate too much, but it can manifest itself physically, and it's important to understand, even if you feel like, yeah, three months I've been here, I'm a Costa Rica pro, that's usually the time that your brain is going to start thinking about uh, back in my home, I could be friends with this person, or I could be talking to them, etc. So what do you do if you find yourself in this situation, which pretty much everyone will? You're frustrated, you don't feel like this is home, you're really butting heads with all of the cultural differences and everything. Honestly, there are a million coping me mechanisms that people will write about online. Journal about your feelings, go on long walks, exercise, yada, yada, yada. You can do all that absolutely. Personally, I feel that you have two options. One, if you feel that this isn't working out, don't be afraid to go home 
And if you've made the right decisions in those first three months, hopefully it won't be a big issue to go back to your native country if that's really what's right for you. The second way to cope with it is literally just to live every day of your life. Keep moving forward. Don't stay focused on the negative. Do whatever you can to keep your head in the right place and literally just keep waking up and breathing. And you'll see that after six months, eight months, nine months, 10 months, your routines start to settle in. You really start to accept what you can't change about the country. You begin to really uh, be able to balance those negative, I hate this, with positive, I'm glad for that. And really, to me, if you want to get through culture shock, it's a matter of time and patience. Stick with it, stay here, and realize what's going on. It's not that you're some failure and that really you just can't adapt. Everybody goes through a traumatizing stage where they question whether they've moved to the right place. And very much in Costa Rica, during that phase, you're gonna find plenty of things that you might wanna complain about if you're so, so inclined. Anyhow, it's a process that takes a year to get through, two years for some people. Don't expect it to be quick. If you're feeling melancholy, just be able to recognize yeah, I'm a little out of place here and just adapting to a new way of life. That's my culture shock spiel. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.